Another frightening occurrence is the existence of a website called Gerdab. It's been set up with special pages to identify those who have attended the rallies and they could face consequences. You, they took pictures during the arrest, they had these up, and they ask the general public and those that are supporters of the regime to identify these people so that they can be met with force. The fear of those in my homeland country is that the indications are pointing towards things getting worse before they get better. We fear a repeat of the massacres that took place just after the 1979 revolution and the 1988 massacres where tens of thousands of Iranians were, were killed en masse. When is enough enough? We have been asking this since the June elections, but in reality, most Iranians have been asking this for the last 30 years. How many more innocent people must be massacred before something is done? How many more times must the Islamic Republic of Iran's regime deceive and lie before the officials from other nations understand that there is little value negotiating with them unless human rights are a serious precondition to talks? These are the questions I demand of the United Nations. A high-ranking Shia cleric in Iran named Ayatollah Montazeri remarked, this is no longer Islamic, nor is it a republic, and directly challenged the Supreme Leader. The Islamic Republic of Iran maintains power through force and control, and with its legitimacy now on the line, rifts among the ruling clerical elite and significant civil resistance. The only way the leaders can hold onto power is to crack down harder on the citizens, imposing a police-like state to quell any threat of a, revo of a velvet revolution. The United Nations must act immediately to stop these grave human rights abuses from taking place and to hear the cries of the Iranian people. I have a 10-point plan with recommendations on how to prevent such atrocities from taking place and the loss of more lives at this time of great crisis. I would encourage nation states of the United Nations not recognize and legitimize this undemocratic regime as the leaders of Iran. Support the Iranian civil society. Isolate the hardliners that are in power by imposing asset freezes, travel bans on officials, provisional arrests through Interpol, those recognized officials who have committed crimes against hum humanity, like Saeed Murtazavi, who is the former chief prosecutor of Iran implicated in the uh, murder of Zahra Kazemi, a Canadian uh, Iranian photojournalist who was murdered, um, raped by, by the regime, simply for taking pictures outside of Evan prison. I would hope for eventual prosecution in The Hague at the International Criminal Court. In the meantime, just sending Philip Alston, the United Nations Special Rapporteur on extrajudicial summary or arbitrary executions to Iran to investigate these crimes. Many times they have tried, but they have not let him into the country. Support media and satellite and new technology which enable Iranians to have freer access and dissemination of the news. As Hillel already mentioned, we have an appeal of Iranian human rights defenders, and what it does is we're calling for an emergency U UN Human Rights Council session, an international commission of inquiry to investigate Iran's grave human rights and demand the immediate release of all political prisoners. We have some, of, some prominent human rights um, defenders listed on the back, and this will be a continuous um, petition that we will make available online as well. Lastly, it's time for the United Nations to live up to its name and truly represent nation states with leaders that represent their population and not authoritarian regimes that massacre its very own people. A free, democratic Iran with a focus on human rights will have a domino effect in the region, stability in the Middle East, and ultimately aid in world security. So with that, I would just like to thank you for, for coming out. And if you have any specific questions on child executions or this report or what we've said, we would, we would like to hear from you.